Hello, this is Lindsay Adler, and in this tutorial, I'm going to take you through the process of adding makeup to your models in Photoshop. Sometimes you don't have access to a makeup artist for the shoot, or maybe afterwards you're looking at the photo and you decide you want to add a bit of color to the portrait. One thing I want to mention is what you need to do before your shoot. You need to apply some type of makeup to the model to help give you the desired texture. In the shot that I'm using for this example, I have very limited eye makeup above the eye. It's pretty natural in tone, but it's just enough to give me a realistic look. Here's before, and then after. And you know, maybe that was the look I was going for, a little bit more snazzy color to it. So let's go into Photoshop. The first thing I want to do is zoom in in the model's face so that I can have a better view of what I'm doing. First step is to go down to the lower right and click on the button for New Layer. And this will create a new blank layer. If I double click on the layer, I can change the name of the layer. And I'm going to do this so I can keep track of which each different layer that I have is adjusting. And this is my first eye layer. This is where I'm going to be making all of my adjustments on separate blank layers, not on the original background layer. To get started applying makeup, I'm going to go over here to the left and click on the top color swatch to bring up a palette to let me choose what color I want to be painting with. So I think I'll start off by picking a pretty pink. Then I make sure I'm clicked on the brush option so that I can paint. And then I'm going to come up here and adjust the qualities of my brush. I don't want it to be too hard because then there'll be a rough line. I don't want it to be too soft because then I have too little control. So I'm going to pick something soft but kind of in the middle and then I'm going to adjust the size of my brush. Another way to do this is if you want your brush to get bigger, you click on your right bracket key and smaller, click on the left bracket key. So now I begin painting at 100% opacity, approximately where I want to put the makeup on the eye. And of course, this doesn't look natural, but we're going to be doing more to make it look right. So make sure you paint equally onto both eyes. Next, I'm going to be selecting the blend mode of this layer. What this does, it decides how this layer is represented, you know, how it interacts with the layer below it and how it is displayed on the image. The mode that I will be selecting for this example is overlay. It now begins up to pick up some of the colors and textures of the layer below. Still, this doesn't look natural. So the next step we do is come up to the upper right and change the opacity of this layer. Slowly, you'll see this start to look more natural. This layer is now picking up the texture of the skin below it, but also enhancing the colors so that it looks like the makeup you desire. The edges that I painted might look a little hard, so what I'm going to do is blur this layer until I think it looks natural. I go up to Filter, Blur, and then Gaussian Blur. Now if you go to the radius, the more you are to the right, the more blur that you're going to get and the softer edges you'll have. The more you are to the left, the less blur there will be and the edges will remain sharp. So I'm going to pick there and select OK. And it gives me a little bit softer in blending mode. Another thing you can do to make it more blended is to select your eraser and make it a small amount of opacity so you're only erasing a little bit and just kind of blend around the edges so that the eye makeup looks more blended into the skin. It looks more natural like real makeup would be. I'm also erasing here so that I can erase over the eyebrow so that the eyebrow isn't picking up any the color of the eye makeup. And this is the effect we have so far. Next, I'm going to go back down to the bottom right and create a new layer. I'm going to click on this layer and rename it Lips because now I'm going to change the color of the lip makeup. I'm going to keep the same color and on this new layer, paint in, once I've selected the brush, paint in where I want the lip color to be displayed. And I'm just going rough over approximately where I want the color because I can always go back in and erase where I don't want it because I have my lip color on a separate layer. Same thing as before, I want to change the mode to overlay, go up and adjust the opacity until I think it looks natural. Again, you want to be careful not to have the colors too vibrant because they might look unrealistic, but then also this might be the look you're going for. Again, I'm going to use Gaussian Blur to make it a little softer. And now I've decided that I want to add a little bit more variety to the eye makeup. So I'm going to make another eye layer. I'm going to go back over to my color palette and pick another color. I'm going to pick a purple. I'm going to adjust my brush size and paint in purple where I would like it to show up. 
Same thing on the right. And I adjust the mode to overlay. Adjust the opacity again. And now this is pretty subtle. The eye makeup goes from a lighter pink to kind of a deeper purple. Now I want to make sure that this new color looks blended, so I'm going to go over and grab my eraser and erase so that it looks appropriate and looks realistic. Okay, and I've decided I want to add just one more bit of color to the eyes. I'm going to create one more layer, go back to my color palette. I've decided to select a little bit of blue. I'm going to go back and paint a little blue into the eye makeup. And on the right, it wouldn't show up, so I won't put anything there. Change the view to overlay. Change the opacity so that it looks natural. And go up to filter and Gaussian blur to blur the effect. And I'm going to do this twice so that it looks even softer. So now I'm going to go in and take a look at what I have. So first, here's with no makeup. Then there's the lips before and after, the first bit of eye makeup, the second bit of eye makeup, and then the last bit of eye makeup. Before and after. Now maybe you decided that the color for the lips you wanted wasn't quite right. So I select the layer for the lips, and I go up to Image, Adjustments, and Hue Saturation. And this is going to allow me to change the hue of the lips. When I grab hue, I can drag it left, and this is, I can pick pretty much any color to make the lips look. I can make them green, orange, purple, anything I want. And in this case, I still want them pretty pink. That's just the effect I wanted. You can drag down the lightness to make the lips look lighter or darker. You can see the before and after. In this case, hardly any change. And now I'm going to zoom in just so you can see the effect up close, before and after. And you see how the different layers pick up the texture of the skin and interact with a little bit of makeup was there and the skin tone to make the makeup look realistic. If I want to go in and clean up the image, if I see that there's makeup where I don't want it, I can select each layer individually and grab my eraser and erase maybe over the eyebrow if the color is showing up or different places where it shouldn't be. If there's remnants in the hair or certain places in the eyelashes if I didn't stay within the lines on the lips. And I can go in and select each layer and clean up where the color isn't quite right. So here's a final look at, at the image. And now you can go into any portraits that you have and add a little bit of burst of color, maybe picking up a tone from a shirt if you want to try to pull the image together, or maybe just kind of enhancing an image that was pretty neutral in tone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please visit our website, www.adlerphotoworkshops.com, for more information and additional tutorials.